Hello, I'm Kat Lamin from London, UK, and I'm a Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. I'm going to answer how quiz assignments can be used to assess students' learning, which relates to assessment in Google Classroom. I'm really excited to be able to share with you some information about using quiz assignments, as I feel that they're really important, allowing us to quickly and easily gain information about our students' understanding of a topic, as well as to provide an easy opportunity for assessment. I will share why quiz assignments with Google Forms are useful for teachers, including different question types to show how to ask meaningful questions, assigning points to questions and reviewing scores after submission, and importing scores to Google Classroom. Let's start by looking at the different question types you can find within a Google Form. You can ask a wide variety of different questions from short answer, multiple choice to linear scale, and you can easily include images and videos as part of the question, answer or feedback. It's important to remember that multiple choice questions only allow the user to select one answer, whereas checkbox questions allow users to select more than one answer. In fact, if we select a checkbox question, we can click on the three dots to choose response validation and identify whether we're looking for a specific number of boxes to be checked. For example, select exactly three. Response validation can also be used on short answer questions to check for a number or letter, which can be really useful if you're asking students to complete a maths quiz. Don't be worried that multiple choice questions are too easy, as you can really challenge your learners with an evaluative multiple choice question or by creating multiple choice questions that relate to common misconceptions. Here's an example of a great multiple choice question from the UK Primary Math Challenge in 2019. The question has been written to really challenge students, but it still has a multiple choice set of answers. Once you've created your questions, you will want to add correct answers and point values to them, so you'll need to make sure your form is set up as a quiz. To do this, click on the gear icon to access the settings menu and select the third tab, Quizzes. Make sure that the slider is on for Make This a Quiz, and you will now see that as you click on each question, you have the option to include an answer key. By clicking on the answer key, you can correctly identify the correct answer, as well as assign point values to the question. The important thing to remember about answers is that the answer has to be presented exactly as it is in the answer key, and it is case sensitive. So you may find that you need to write several correct answers. Often we may ask a question that has a more open answer, for example, in a reading comprehension. If this is the case, it's worth changing your quiz settings to release the grades later after manual review. You can then go into the Responses tab of your form and review the individual question responses to decide whether to give the pupils the points for correct answer. You can see that on my general knowledge form, one of the questions has a short answer response and several people have misspelled the word Fandango, but I can go through and manually give points to those students before returning their work to them. There are two ways we can assign a quiz through Google Classroom. Firstly, we can select Create Quiz Assignment. This will automatically generate a blank form with quiz mode already turned on so that you can create your quiz quickly and easily. You will notice that there's a grade importing slider underneath the quiz, and this must be turned on if you want to import scores from your quiz. If you try to add any other documents to this assignment, you will notice that the slider grays out, so make sure to only attach one quiz at a time. You can also assign quizzes that you've already made by selecting just a normal assignment from the Create menu. If you select a quiz from your Google Drive, you will see that the Import Grade slider appears once you've attached it. Finally, once your students have completed the quiz, you can view the assignment in your gradebook and select Import Grades in order to bring your grades directly into the gradebook. Remember to manually review the answers before importing if you have any open questions that need checking. Thank you for joining me to learn how quiz assignments assess students' learning. We explored multiple ways to assess students' learning with meaningful questions, assigning points, reviewing scores and importing those scores into your Google Classroom. Now we know what to do to assess student learning. Thanks for watching.